Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing the Gears 5 tech test on the RX 570. To skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check the Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well. While the full game releases in early September, there's a multiplayer tech test going on. To my surprise while launching the game, there's a benchmark tool available, so that's what I will be showing you today. Unfortunately, it takes a really long time for me to join matches and it failed multiple times, which is to be expected. They are stress testing the servers with this test. So far, the benchmark tool seems to be the worst case scenario for the game. I got almost double the performance while in a multiplayer match. It makes sense since there's a lot less stuff going on and the maps are much smaller. I will save some of the details of the options menu for the full release, but so far the shadows, ambient occlusion, desolation, levels of detail and reflection options were the main things that affect the performance. There's a ton of options and in each one you can see how much it affects the GPU, CPU, CPU and VRAM, super helpful to tweak the game manually. I'm also very surprised about the recommended presets, which will tweak the game based on your hardware. When using that on 1080p, I always get 50 to 60 FPS in the worst parts of the benchmark. You also get to see examples of all that in the benchmark tool, tons of effects, multiple enemies and things happening. I expect these numbers to be what the story mode runs like. Well again, in the multiplayer you'll get much higher frame rate, which is always good. In September I'll be testing the full game, so stay tuned for that. But yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time.